Hi everybody. Today I am going to show you how to sketch these three dimensional space truss in a structural analysis software. So this is a space frame. It has three pinned support at A, B and C and all of which lie on the same level, I mean on XY plane. This member DE, it is horizontal and it is at a height of 10 meters above the plane of supports. We have to determine the forces in the member when the frame carries loads 80 kN and 40 kN acting in the horizontal plane at a joints E and D. Also we have to look at here 10 meter and 10 meters. So it is actually at an interval of 5 meters. I have to take the axis on x axis and on y axis I have to take 10 meter intervals and vertically it is 10 meter height. So let's start. Already I have done this so I want to cancel this. I want to start from scratch. Let's take this trust 3D design. Cancel this one. I have to click on geometry and axis definition. Say here x I have to take x one time, two time, three time and four times and it is at interval of five meters. Add this. Now for y we have to go for two times and at an interval of 10. So it will be up to 20. Say here I am changing the axis numbering. It will be alphabet ABC. Then go for Z. It will be one time and here it will be 10. It is done and here instead numbering I will take the value click apply you get all but it is on XZ plan I want to go for 3D so go for 3D so I got it so let's look at this first I have to take this DE member. What I will do, DE member I will take at the XY plane and then I will take it up at a distance of 10 meters. So let's do it first. Click here on the bar, bar size, bar section doesn't matter because I will consider all bars self weight is zero. So here I will make one bar as I told then I will take it up it is D E click on and take this up say move so x value 0 y value 0 and 10 meter ups move execute gone up. Now click on bar again and 
here it is a take this again from a take up to e from b take up to e from c take up to d then again from c take up to e so we are done let's compare this look at look same as this now what i'll do i'll make the support so click on support pin support so click here click here and click here so we are done with supports now better i put here dimension before putting the loads so how to put the dimension dimension line here take this take this dimension say it is 20 meters again from here to here it is 10 meters again from here to here it is say 10 meters now i have to go for this and this so i'll go for say 5 meters here and here i'll go for say 5 meters again go for this and this go up five meters then for this for this five meters so i got all the dimensions okay now let's put the load on this beam or on this member BE I mean DE because A B C this is DE so let's go for load so this is one DL1 DL1 so add this okay I got it click here now go for load definitions we have to put load on the node suppose here x 40 already we had 40 so x is 40 add this it will be exactly here 40 again come to the node remove this and put here 80 add this and click here y direction x direction so we got loads we can check it the loads is it okay or not see here 40 and 80 we got everything now we have to do this all member self weight to be zero so what to do load load table here self weight click on this delete this so self weight gone it means our member self weight is zero now we are done with all the things what is necessary we did it now we can go for analysis 
because we have to find the member forces as well as reactions. So do analysis. Click on this. It is done. Now we can see what are the reactions. Here if we go to the results and go for diagram for bars. Click here reactions. We need reactions for X, Y and Z. So apply. See we got the reactions. Let's bring our structure and the phase of reactions. Look at here. Support reaction. But one thing I want to remind here X means I have taken here Y and here Y means I have taken here it is as X. So if we take support A, this is the A. Look at X0, Y0, Z0. It means all the reactions are 0. Look at here, 0, 0, 0. Now this is B. What is the value for B? B means X is 20. You look at it is 20, minus 20. Y is minus 40. It is minus 40 and Z is minus 40. Look at Z is minus 40. So we are correct. What about C? X is minus 20. Same. Y is minus 40. It is also minus 40 and Z is plus 40. So we got plus 40. So we are okay with the reaction. It is same as this. Now let's check the member forces. So what you will do? Maps on bars. So force components X. Here say parameters. Text is, we have to mark the text. So the value will come here. Apply. We got the member forces. So what is that? I am bringing the result again. We have to match with the value only, not sign, because already here it is showing tension and compression. Accordingly, they put sign, but we have to match with the numerical value. So this is A and this is E. So AE and AD. What is the value? AE 0. AD 0. Already we got 0, 0. What about BE? BE here it is showing 60. Our BE means B and E. It is showing here 60. What about CD? CD means 0. This is C, this is D. It is also 0. What about CE? 60. CE. It is showing 60. What about DE? D means this horizontal bar. It is showing here 40. We got here 40. So we got exactly what is in the books. So we are correct and the structure analysis software, it also gave us the correct value. And here also we can show it with something like here, if I click on it, it is showing the original section. And I think that's all for this trust.